Paris Masters delivered as it usually does. Many high level matches were played and I want to speak on two topics. First one being, should we worry about Rafael Nadal? And in my opinion, for the first time in a long time, my answer is yes. Yes, we should. But not in terms of his overall greatness, because no one can dispute that. But I think we should worry about his chances at the year-end championships in Turin, if he even plays there. And don't come here with this Rafael Nadal is a warrior and he is always a threat to anyone on the tennis court. Because I know that. Everyone knows that, but I can't talk about something that could happen. I need to talk about something that actually did happen. And what I saw against Tommy Paul was not encouraging at all. Especially in the third set. The movement was off, decision making was off, shot making was off, everything looked bad for him. And again, I know that Rafa has been a very busy family man these past few months. Therefore, he's clearly not 100% focused on tennis, but maybe, just maybe, this should have been the time when Rafa took a break. Nobody who is sane would question anything about this decision. But now, Nadal probably will play in Turin, and if I had to guess, will look like a weaker version of himself which I don't think is something that we are dying to see. But someone who has played must-watch tennis after starting his partnership with Patrick Muratoglu is Holger Rune. There are only a few more polarizing personalities in tennis than Patrick Muratoglu. The former coach of Serena Williams, Simona Halep, and now the current coach of Holger Rune can definitely annoy some of the tennis fans by his supposed arrogance and sliminess. But we can't deny the fact that he is a great coach. Rune has been in a great run of form ever since the player-coach tandem was created. The teenager has won 19 out of his last 21 matches. And those wins were against such players as Tsitsipas, Rublev, Alcaraz and Novak Djokovic. And I'm not even naming all of the great players that he beat. You might say that Holger has always had that talent, so it was just a matter of time until he started winning against big names. But truth be told, there have been many super talented players that never did anything of note because of the personnel around them. Therefore, I think it's valid to give some praise to Moratoglu for recent success of Holger Rune. And he is the real deal. Average players don't win matches against Novak from behind in the final set of a final match for a Masters title. Just imagine how many players would have crumbled under the pressure if they were in a situation like Rune was when he was serving for the match. The kid showed that he has ice in his veins. Holger did the improbable by winning the Paris Masters. And now he has earned a possible chance to play in the ATP Finals and I'm not wishing harm on anyone, but if Rune somehow gets to play in the finals based on his form, he could be a huge threat to anyone who plays him. And since we are on the topic of Rune, I would like to say that Wawrinka is a certified weirdo for doing what he did after the match against Holger. He clearly couldn't take a loss gracefully, so he resorted to calling his opponent a little baby, while showing little baby tendencies. But who cares, right? Stan got praised for what he did, but when Rune did much less against Root at the French Open, people were quick to jump on a Rune hate train, yet they will probably be the ones to jump on his bandwagon right now. Like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel for more tennis content, and until next time, take it easy my friend.